I'm gonna show you guys three ways that we can make transparency in Blender. Okay, and I can't believe that nobody made a tutorial about all the three methods in one video yet. All right, so I'm gonna show you the three different ways that we can do this in Blender, and then you can just use whichever one suits your purpose the best. You can also skip through the video if you're trying to see one of the particular methods. I'm gonna show you what the three methods are and what they can be used for. Okay, so the first method is using an add-on which is built into Blender. It's called Images as Planes. Okay, this method is probably what you're going to use if you're gonna make uh, stuff like plants grass flowers or fences even or something like that where you just have like a surface which has to be transparent and you have a texture on the surface right so i'm going to show you how we can do that with, with a grass uh, a grass texture as an example okay so for example uh, we're going to use this texture of grass it has a transparent background and we're going to apply that to a plane with some transparency right so the first thing that we have to do and let me just enable my screencast keys over here just in case because you guys always tell me i need to turn that thing on we're going to go up here and I'm going to turn the add-on first, okay? Edit preferences, all right? Uh, we go to add-ons and we type in images. Just type in images, it's going to come up. And you select this thing called import, export, import images as planes, all right? And now the add-on is active, okay? So now what we can do, of course, we're going to delete the default cube, right? Shift A and over here in the image section, there's going to be a new button called images as planes. Okay. And when we click this, uh, so this is the same place where we load our references and stuff like that. When we click on this, we have to load an image and I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to load my grass image texture. Okay. And as you can see right away, it just creates a new plane, which doesn't have any texture on it because we're still in a solid uh, rendered view, right? Or solid viewport shading, not rendered view. But if we switch to textured view up here with this little button, or if you also go to render it, it's the same thing you're going to see that we now have this plane is transparent, but it has the, the grass texture on it, right? You can see over here, if we put a cube behind it, all right, you can see the cube through it. And now there's a lot of different things we can do with particles and stuff like that. We can distribute this on a surface to create a grassy plane, or you can also do the same thing with flowers or uh, hairs, maybe, or stuff like that. But this is one of the ways that you can make transparency in Blender, probably the quickest way. Okay. Now the second method to create transparency in Blender is using what's called alpha maps, right? It's a special type of texture map, the same way you can apply a roughness map or a normal map, you can also apply alpha map, okay? I'm over here on textures.com, which is a good library for downloading PBR materials and textures and whatnot. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, I typed in camo and I have this texture of a camo net. And as you can see, this texture has some parts which are kind of cut out of the texture, right? If you apply this to the surface, there are parts that are sort of cut out and that makes that part transparent, okay? Here's a few more examples. I also have this one. So there are some parts which have a texture and other parts which are just supposed to be a hole cut in the canvas, right? And if we go down here, we can download the color map or the actual texture, the roughness map, the height map, the normal map, whatever, right? And also down here at the bottom, we have an alpha map, okay? We can zoom in on that. I can show you what it looks like. I don't know. Yeah, okay, here we go. Basically, it's a black and white texture, okay? And on this black and white texture, the white uh, pixels, it means full alpha, so zero transparency. And the black areas, it means no alpha at all, which means completely transparent, okay? So, so in other words, the black areas in this texture are going to indicate this part is supposed to be transparent. This is where we're going to have a cut in the texture. And the white parts are where the texture is going to be displayed, right? So for this example, we're just going to download quickly the albedo map, the texture map, right? And also the alpha map really quickly. We're not going to download any of this just to keep things simple, okay? Now we're going to go back to Blender. We're going to go to the shading tab over here. We have a default cube. By the way, default cube is already already uh, unwrapped, UV unwrapped. So you can just put an image texture in there and load the texture right away. So now I'm going to create an image texture node over here. Okay. In that image texture node, I'm going to open up my uh, camouflage texture over here, albedo. And if I plug the color into the base color, you can see that right away we have the texture on the surface. The problem is we don't have the transparent part yet. Okay. Let me just bevel this a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer because I can't stand the default uh, the default look of a texture on an object. So we have this texture plugged in here. And now we're going to create another image texture node. Okay, another image texture node. And in the second image texture node, we're going to load the alpha map. Okay, now if we take this alpha texture, image texture node, and we plug the color into the uh, alpha input over here of the principal node, to activate the transparency, there's still a couple of things that we need to change. Okay, we need to tell Blender to allow transparency in a texture. Okay, so we're gonna select this object, and we're gonna go over here to the side on the Material Properties menu on the Material Properties tab. And if we scroll all the way down, there's gonna be this setting menu over here. Okay, settings. You open that up, and there's two uh, settings over here called Blend Mode and Shadow Mode. Okay, by default, they're both set to opaque. Now we're gonna set the Blend Mode. We're gonna change that from opaque 
to alpha clip all right now sometimes this will work right away but sometimes it will not and the reason it will not work is because you have to adjust the clip threshold over here okay and this is basically telling blender at which point like how much is how much uh, uh, color is it going to tolerate the loud transparency right so try, try to play around with this a little bit and see what works best in this case it seems like uh, the alpha clip is not working too well for me you, you can also change this to alpha hashed all right and this might work a little bit better depending on your circumstances all right so play around with some of these settings and see what works best for you so it, it all depends on the situation you can also activate back face culling over here so it's not going to show you the back sides of the faces behind okay on the same object and now if you want you can layer this and create some cool textures and stuff like that all right so that's the second way. And the third way to make transparency in Blender is probably the coolest way. We're going to do that by creating glass. Okay, you can actually make really realistic glass very easily. All right, there's no need to complicate with six million different nodes. All right, I'm going to show you how. To do that, I'm going to create a monkey. All right, a monkey control three just to add some subdivisions, smooth shading, and all that. All right, just if it's smooth, the glass is going to look a little bit nicer. Right, but you don't have to do that. Anyway, we're going to go to shading. And we're definitely going to switch to cycles because this is not going to work very well in Eevee. All right, glass is not going to work really nicely in Eevee. It's going to work a lot better in cycles. We got this monkey over here. Let's get rid of this. We're going to create a new material. We're going to call that glass. All right. And all we have to do now is we're going to switch to render view just so we can see what's going on. We're going to turn on transmission down here. We're going to turn that all the way up. We're going to turn roughness all the way down. Okay. Now you can see already that something's going on in this monkey. The problem is. We can't really see much because it's a dark scene, it's a dark background, so it's hard to really see that this is glass. It doesn't look very impressive at all, right? So if you want to make glass actually look realistic, we're going to need something like an, either an environment with some lighting and some backgrounds and stuff like that, or we're going to use an HDRI, okay? Now, if you want to get an HDRI, you can do that very easily. Just go to HDRI Haven or Polyhaven HDRI section. I'll put the link below. I, I'm also not sponsored by them either. You can find a whole bunch of HDRI environments over here. Just pick one, okay? Just pick any, and you can just download it with this button over here. And you can load that in Blender. I'm going to show you how. So back in Blender, in the shading editor, we're going to have to switch over here from object to world, all right? And now we're controlling the nodes and the materials for the world, for the background, okay? Over here, by default, it's just a gray color, and we can change that to any color that we want. You can see a preview of that in the background in the render view. Now, the same way that we can control the base color with an image texture on a material, we can do the same thing for the world, right? We can use an image texture to control the color of the background. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to load what's called an environment texture node, all right? We're going to plug the color into color here, and we're going to open up one of our beautiful downloaded HDRIs. I have some modern buildings or something like that over here. You can see if I plug that in here. And if I load that in the background, I have a beautiful environment around my uh, around my glass monkey over here. Okay. Now, if I zoom in on this monkey, you're gonna see. Well, I currently have a. I have to. I'm rendering this scene, so it, it, it takes a few seconds to show. I'm also gonna turn on my denoiser. All right. You can see the monkey is indeed transparent. I'm not gonna turn on the denoiser. It takes too much time. The monkey is indeed transparent, and it looks quite nice. All right. You can also play around with some of the other settings over here. Maybe increase the roughness by just a little bit. Right. But just a little bit so it's not completely transparent so it has a little bit more realism but you are going to notice that this monkey is indeed transparent if we put this cube behind him we can see the cube through the monkey and it looks quite good right now the reason that i say this is not going to work in eevee because if you go to eevee we're not going to have any transparency right the, it, it still kind of looks like it's made out of glass but it, it, it's not transparent you can't see the cube behind this right so with cycles it's a lot more realistic so those are the three ways that you can make transparency in Blender. Guys, if you've got any questions, join my Discord. The link is below. We have 400 people already. Any question that you ever need answered, you can just ask anybody there. And you're going to have 400 people on it. We can discuss anything. We share artworks. We share videos. We share stream ideas. We share all this different stuff, right? So if you want to join a proper 3D community, join the Discord. It's in the link below. I'll see you guys in the next one.